What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Chakram Giasov versus Harold Calderon, and this was a 12 rounder for the WBA welterweight world title eliminator. And this fight was Saturday, June 17th, from the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. And this fight was broadcasted on DAZN. And in this fight, Chakram Giasov improved to 14 0, getting a unanimous decision victory over Harold Calderon. And he also handed Calderon his first ever defeat as Calderon now drops to 27 and 1. So, this performance from Giasov, uh, I mean, I'd give him like, a, I guess you could say a 6 out of 10, maybe. Um, I mean, his opponent wasn't really engaging that much, but I mean, he could have done much, much more in this one. But he got the job done easily, winning by unanimous decision. Um, I scored this bout 118 to 110. The three judges scored this bout 118-110, agreeing with my scorecard 120-108, to which I could definitely see. And then the third judge had it much closer at 116-112. to um, But predominantly throughout this entire fight, Giasov could have um, landed more and like could have uh, threw more combinations. There's only a few sequences throughout this fight where he did. Most of the time it was just single shots. But, I mean, for Calderon, he just wasn't doing enough. I mean, if he rewatches this fight, which I assume he will, he's going to notice how many openings he had when Giasov had his hands down just right in his, just literally right in his face. I um, mean, and, and he wasn't throwing any punches back. Um, the only two rounds I did give to um, Calderon were rounds three and rounds nine. Every other round I thought was pretty clear and easy to score for Giasov. Giasov was the one just doing much, much more. Um... And there wasn't any, like, exclusive moments for Giasov in this fight where he hurt him or anything. He just did more. It was just moving forward, pressing, just bringing the action. But in round number three, I thought Calderon landed some nice hooks on the outside. Um, but it was a pretty close round. Could have went either way, in my opinion. But round nine, I definitely thought that Calderon won it. Um, he His corner was just urging him on to have some offense. And so that round he did where he opened up in round number nine with some very good combinations on Giasov to the body and to the head. And he looked very solid in the early part of that round, so I just edged it to him. But predominantly every other round, Giasov controlled pretty easily. Um, but yeah, like I said before, this was for a WBA Eliminator. I believe it was not like a full like number one mandatory WBA Eliminator. I think it was for the number two spot. And currently, I believe the number one ranked, if I would assume... It would be Virgil Ortiz Jr., but it probably isn't. But I'm just saying that because Ortiz is going to fight Imanta Senyonas for the WBA regular title. As we all know, the WBA super champion is Errol Spence Jr., but that regular title is going to be challenged for on July 8th when Virgil Ortiz Jr. does take on Imanta Senyonas, which is a phenomenal fight, by the way. Um, and I think that... For Chakram Giasov, like what's next for him? That could definitely be an option, considering he won an eliminator here and he fights on the zone. If Virgil Ortiz is able to defeat Stan Jonas and become the WBA regular champ, we could see a very interesting clash between him and Giasov. Um, and maybe if Stan Jonas wins, who knows? But for Giasov, if he doesn't fight the winner of that one, um, I could see him facing um, really someone else who's high ranked by the WBA. In one more fight, but not too risky. Not like someone who's undefeated. I know that Calderon was undefeated, but he wasn't that much of a risky fighter because he was relatively unknown, not really facing uh, top tier competition. But um, for Giasov, like I said before, he could either fight the winner of Stanionis and Ortiz, or he could fight someone else ranked highly by the WBA, considering he just won an eliminator. But as for Harold Calderon losing for the first time in his career, um, I mean, this was sort of a tough loss for him. It's sort of a wake-up call, I guess you could say, because he just wasn't doing enough in the one opportunity he had where he could fight for a like life-changing world title in his next fight. But, I mean, he just sort of he didn't perform at the level that he should if he didn't throw enough. Maybe he was scared to throw because Giasov is pretty powerful and is pretty slick, but... He just didn't do enough. But for Calderon, I don't really think he's going to do much in his next fight. I think he might take on some lower-level opposition before maybe getting another opportunity as an opponent or maybe just a solid performance on like one of these DAZN cards. Uh, so overall, Shakram Giasov defeats Harold Calderon by a clear unanimous decision to win the WBA welterweight world title eliminator. And again, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.